guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is crystal and today i'll be exploring my city i moved to manhattan six months ago and i haven't really had the chance to take a full day and just explore the city and i really love korean food so i decided to make this kind of like a korean food version I'm spending today with my best friend since middle school. We went to Her Name is Han for lunch. Her Name is Han is a really good Korean restaurant located in Cape Town. They have these lunch specials called Popsang, which includes one main dish and a bunch of side dishes. We got the corn and cream croquet for appetizer and it was the best croquet I've ever tasted. It tasted like the little Korean corn soups that I used to eat when I was younger and it just reminded me of my childhood. Also, make sure to make a reservation because this place is packed it was for lunch and we waited 20 minutes for the main dishes we got the yuzu chicken noodle soup papsang this dish also has kargosu in it which is like thick flour noodles and i got the pudetjige which is army stew this is a spicy korean stew with rice cake kimchi sausages and ramen it's actually a really popular korean dish and the side dishes were so good there were so many different kinds and i love variety so that was a really filling lunch you guys have to go to Machi Machi in Cape Town for their Tang Hulus. I literally go here once a week. So I just got Tang Hulu and this is Jujube. That's such a cute name. This is strawberry, grape, tangerine. They had a new fruit called jujube and I've never tried it so I had to get it but it wasn't that good and it wasn't my style but everything else is so good and they have the perfect amount of sugar. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. Next, we headed to Soho, and I feel like Soho is such a touristy spot, but I still love it nonetheless. They just have so many stores to shop at, and everything is in one area, so you don't really have to walk too much to get to places. We are at Soho, and we're just shopping right now. We're currently going to Gentle Monster. I lost my sunglasses in Cancun, so I have to get another pair. But I kind of want like glasses. This is actually my favorite store in Soho. I love trying on sunglasses and glasses, and everything is so cute. My friend and I love anything that has to do with arts and crafts, so we decided to go to Color Me Mine. For two hours, you can paint as many ceramics as you would like. My friend wanted to make a cup for me, so she was drawing out what she was gonna paint. Okay, so I decided to go with a plate because I felt like I was gonna use that the most often. Also, I saw this really cute design on Pinterest where it was like crisscross with bows. So that's what I decided to go with, but honestly, it did not come out like the picture. I drew the bows way too close to Together, but I honestly had so much fun doing this. It doesn't really matter about the results. Also, it was a really good catching up time with my friend. I need this, but the bows are so close together and it's so big. So I think it's gonna be ugly. Okay, I'm so excited to show you guys this place because this spa is fairly new so I don't think a lot of people know about it. It's a pretty small spa but they honestly have everything you need. I love how they have board games here. It just keeps me so entertained whenever I come. And I also love how it's like really quiet in here every time I come. So I'm here at the spa club in Cape Town and we just stopped by so we can kind of relax for a bit before dinner. This is a Korean sauna and I love this place so much. Upstairs. I'm with my friend Katie. We just got oven cooked eggs. You know how you have to crack this, right? Perfect. <laughs> I don't know how they cook it like this. I think there's a machine. It's like so much better than regular eggs. I'm gonna crack it on your head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. Does it hurt? Right over here. <laughs> do you have to do a hard? <laughs> <laughs> it hurts less. <laughs> so cute. The 
dinner, we went to Agashigopchang, which is a fairly new spot as well. Also, look at this Hello Kitty keychain I got. It is so cute. There's also an Agashigopchang in LA, and it is known to be BTS's favorite restaurant. And I was so excited when they opened it in New York because Gopchang is my favorite food. Gopchang is basically the Korean word for beef intestines, and I know this sounds really gross, but it is just so flavorful and so good. It's so savory you just have to try it if you're not a big fan of beef intestines they also have k barbecue here so you guys can get that instead but i really really recommend this you guys have to try it Today we're exploring Flushing in Queens. First, I went to this really cute Korean self studio where you can take pictures by yourself. <laughs> They had so many props to choose from and they also had these really cute plushies so I took pictures with them. At first I felt really awkward but I really liked how there's no photographer and you can take your own pictures and it's very private. There's also two different backdrops that you can choose from. I personally prefer the solid background but they also have different rooms to choose from like this Easter room and also this floral room. They also send you all of the pictures and you can choose to have them printed out as well. So I just took a bunch of photos at Snapbox. Now I'm so hungry, so we're heading to which tteokbokki? Tteokbokki is a Korean word for spicy rice cakes. It is my favorite food ever. I used to eat it every day when I was younger. This is an all-you-can-eat tteokbokki spot, and this is tteokbokki heaven. They have over five different sauces to choose from, and also so many different fried snacks, and these fish cakes, and toppings, and ramen. I literally cannot believe they have something like this here, because the last time I had it was in Korea, and everything tastes just as good as Korea. And they had these wine noodles, which are my favorite so I had to add them to the toppings. While the tteokbokki was cooking, I had some of these fish cakes and they were so good. The broth was amazing. They also had marinated fried chicken, which are my favorite, so I had some of that. Also, sotok sotok, which is rice cake and sausage on a stick. One tip for the tteokbokki is to boil it for a long time so that the sauce thickens. They also have different add-ons like this cheese ring and then this tornado potato. Also, cheese balls. These were so good and so chewy and they also have a promo right now. Whenever I come to Flushing, I love going to the mini little stores. I first went to Tesla Life for their little stationery and snacks and also this cute accessory store and I went down the block and discovered this really really cute stationery store. It has so many cute cups and plates. I actually bought so many of these plates and cups for my house and I think they'll be perfect for my apartment. Okay, when you're in Flushing, you have to go to this really cute cafe. Not only is it aesthetic, but I really love how this cafe changes up their menu a little bit. Like every time I come here, they always have a new menu or a new drink that I can try. So I really like that about this place. I got this blue lemonade with this croffle cake and the croffle cake was really good, but I couldn't eat much of it because I was so full. But I love the interior and plating here. You can really tell that they pay attention to details. For dinner, we went to Myeongsan and they have the Korean traditional food here. And the most popular food here is the marinated crab. There's two different kinds. There's a soy marinated crab and then the spicy marinated crab. But we decided to go with the soy one and it's so good. Guys, trust me on this too. And there's like eggs inside the shell of the body. And when you mix it with the rice, it tastes so good. So you have to eat it like this. We also ordered a stew on the side and it was like the perfect way to end the night because it was cold outside and we had this hot stew and really good marinated crab and i think i finished my bowl of rice in five minutes it was just that good all right guys so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this helped for those of you guys who love korean food and don't know where to go and i'll see you guys in my next video bye